stars I ain't worried about the drama on my grind like I can skate Middle finger to the flashes in my face like fuck the fame I just want a couple dollars so my girl can change her name Empty promises from entities I lost like Navigate Got no patience, I can't wait Everything is showing time What's going on everybody? This is the Kings and Queens podcast You know we got a special guest in the building Hilltop the Don, huh? Wow. You know we got AMG, shout out to Be Nasty, you know, she got TLE and Ace of Wavy in the building, man. TLE, you already know it. Yes, sir. Huh? So, like, share, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? And also, to your mom, your pops, your granny, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your nephew, your niece, your, uh, your stepbrother, your stepsister, your step cousin, your other step cousin. His baby daddy. Huh. Huh. His baby daddy. Huh. Yeah. Let's His go. Baby mama. <laughs> Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Huh. His side hoe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. Hey, right. The dogs, the cats, the <laughs> reptiles, the birds. Let them all know. And the cat down the road, man. Even the dog you don't want to pet, man. Give him some love today. You feel me? Shout out to all the people on Valentine's Day, man. Holiday stuff, man. I feel you. So, before we get started. I got a crazy question for all y'all. What's up? <clears throat> How's y'all day today? Shit, we here. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. We breathing. Oh. You know what I'm Woke saying? Up. It's great. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's great. Woke up. It's life, bro. You know, we still breathing. We still walking. So, like. Ah, for real. That's real. So, now, we were talking about, you know what I'm saying, some conversations off the mic, but I want to, you got, you know, you asked me a question I want to answer. You, you said, who do I feel is what's the question? Better between Mo three and Yellow Beat. Better as in lyrically or song making. Who, who's the better artist? Who's the artist? Better artist. Overall artist. Overall artist. We know the answer. We know the answer. <laughs> We all have to. You know, we know that. I'm not sure. I know the answer to this. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't saying. say this. Look, yeah. this, this, this is how I'm gonna put it, bro. <clears throat> Mo three does stuff that Yellow can't do. Like what? Like what? His singing, his harmonizing. Yeah, it's Yellow. talent. I mean, but do you really see Yellow doing all of it like that? Right. You know what I'm saying? He probably got him on talent. You know what I'm saying? But. You gotta look at like overall marketing and everything. You gonna say oh, <clears throat> if we gonna say overall artists, then you gotta you gonna say that. Yeah. Nah, nah, yeah. But if we yeah. gonna talk about talent, yeah, three eating them. Now if we talking about <coughs> overall marketing wise, yellow got them. Yeah. Marketing wise, overall, like doing the business side and all of that, yeah, yellow got them. Okay. Yellow got the people. So now yeah, yellow definitely <laughs> got the people. He got the people. So now let me ask y'all this. Now we understand <laughs> that. Having a certain um, street credibility and having being able to like like Migo say walk it like you talk it between the, those different altercations, do you feel that maybe uh, the, the their beefing could have maybe set one mark like Mo three's marking it down or probably escalated Yellow's high? It definitely, it definitely did both. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. definitely did both. I mean, okay, but why do you feel that? Because most people like. Say for instance, um, allegedly, you no know, things that you know the baby may be going through, so forth. Yeah. When the thing that he was doing, it kind of boosted his career, or not necessarily gave more awareness compared to whether it did. in this case, Mo three was the 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 person who well you know, moved. It was, it, it was kind of different, P, because uh, he uh, three kind of marketed himself. You know what I'm saying on that gangster shit. Right. You know what I'm saying. The baby really wasn't on no gangster shit when he came out. He was just making good music. Okay. He just got tested, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And within that test came with what came with it, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I believe that was the balance on that, you know. Okay. So, I mean, Ace, do you feel that that could have been Mo 3's test and Yellow's test? I'm pretty sure y'all maybe, you know, be spending some hard stuff too now. Nah, I wouldn't say that's a test. That's just, like, real shit. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't feel like that's a, a test that y'all you know, had your life or something like Right. Well, it is a test that your life is. Okay. I'm not saying it. So, yeah. we have marketing and we have talent. Now, lyrically, you know what I'm saying? Who y'all feel maybe coming a coming little harder? Three. Three, three definitely. Three. Three, three. three definitely. Okay. He got good lyrics. Okay, now what about song making? Three. Three? Three? Mm. I'm on yellow on this. I got to right, on yellow on this. All right, they make different music. When it, when it comes to shit like that, like, yeah. Yellow gonna have him shaking that ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I'm looking at how he put them sections yeah, together. Yeah, he yeah. plays this here, this here, this here, this here. It's like he know how to. It, it, okay, so you know you got artists that'll sit down and write it right. They'll sit down and write. And you got the one that just come straight out and they just. 
<laughs> but they ain't putting nothing together. It's like yellow sit down and structure each way he want this junk to go. Yeah. And that's how I'm looking at it. Like three, three snap on whatever he do, I give him that, but I don't see the placement there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I feel mm. that. I feel that. Mm. So would that go under song making, right? Right. Yeah, that definitely goes under song. Okay. So so and I guess so is a favorable agree that it seems like it's tied to me right now. It's, it's definitely tied right. Now. I mean, it, yeah, it's tied. But I mean, if you give three of them same tools, y'all look at. It's I mean, dangerous. But, but what's it's dangerous. dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's so you talking about like production? It's or, more three. Or use them tools. He's, I feel he, like he, he can't. Had he can't shit. say he hasn't yeah. had the adequate tools because. You pop before yellow. Yeah. You pop before I mean, yellow. technically, okay, I'm going to say this in the sense of, okay, what you mean he pop before yellow? Because, see, I ain't from here. I ain't know shit about three. He didn't pop before yellow. You see what I'm saying? He saying? got popular. He, he got That's street. what I mean by pop. He but, don't got popular. Everybody knew yellow was making music. You know what I'm saying? But three, three got popular quick. His voice is very unique to the yeah. area. It's easy to listen to. You know what I'm saying? So he popped, yeah, trapping designer, all of that. But once three came out, hold your tongue, cause you might not say. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. It, it's easy to listen to. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just okay. With three, man, I feel like I feel like he needs to focus more on hustling and pushing his music rather than this beef shit. If, if three get off this street shit, three can be at the same level as yellow, as and not even, possibly even go up. I mean, so 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 in this case, you feel the street shit is actually going against him. Yeah, yeah you're, you're a liability. He's the one that's like he had really okay. perfect. Oh, this for this it. is so this yeah. is like a unique case because yeah. I, I thought yeah. it was always the opposite effect. Nah, nah you're a liability, he man. Perfect yeah, perfect. bro, yeah. Yeah. And, they, and they don't want them. They don't want them nowhere. Because mm -hmm. we can well, I can take yellow somewhere. Right. Yeah, that's your But if we take you somewhere, oh, you always fighting somebody. Oh, you always saying You're something. You're liability. Some if I give you 2.5 million to sign over here, yeah. you are already, you are already in the streets with it. So if I give you 2.5 million to sign over here with me, you finna go do something fucked up. Yeah. And now there's 2.5 million going down the drain. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, okay, so what about Gucci? Now, doing his career, he was doing a lot of extra stuff too. Man. Did that, that stand? Did Tom just change? Tom Gucci changed. was a liability then. Y'all got to think about it. Gucci wasn't with nobody major. Yeah, he yeah. was by himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was them that did everything. You, know, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Now, now you talking about like it was them because I, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was them. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? So, Gucci wasn't with nobody major. When Gucci changed his life and came home, that's when Gucci hit. Gucci wasn't never mainstream. Yeah. Nah, you got to think about it. Y'all the mainstream, right? Yeah. yeah. Mo three not you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Gucci was never mainstream, and it was a while before Bootsy was even mainstream. Yeah, but he, as soon he, as he, they he changed their life and started doing different things, yeah, now they can hit mainstream and get that other money. Okay, all right, okay. So let me ask you this, Ace. Did you see that meme of the of the um, of the dancer who fell off the pole and he got <laughs> <see> that <laughs> shit? Yeah, I see that. so that's apparently she, she broke her jaw. Broke her teeth. Yeah, broke her ribs too. Damn. And somehow she still managed to dance and twerk on off the stage. She like, deserved the money. She, 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 she was, was home. She was on that powder, man. Let's just be real, y'all. She was on that powder and didn't feel that shit. She hit that stage and went to twerking like, nah, oh, bro, with the twerking that yeah. ass. Uh, and fucked up and everything. Yeah. You still twerking that ass. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now, I'm not sure if y'all, is everyone familiar with the strip ball that took place? Oh, yeah. So, um, we gonna yeah. be in. Would, oh, I thought that was my dog. I'm gonna say, damn, you're not gonna do that already. Hmm. Um, so, yeah. So, with the strip ball, so y'all, everybody's familiar with it. Now, have y'all heard about the payout that was given to them as well? Yeah, I, I heard I about it. I ain't hear no number, but I heard, I ain't, about, I ain't heard about that. Some of the ladies didn't go home and that type shit. I mean, pretty much. It, they they, they split it with everybody in there, right? Yeah. It, so I mean, you first came like six hundred dollars. I mean, but that was the same thing with last year's stripper ball. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, you gotta think about it, man. 
it's either you want your strippers to kill each other or we gonna make it fair. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, and them folks ain't going there and throw millions. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But I got 400 strippers in here tonight. Mm -hmm. On top of the ones that came from out of town, so we like 600 strippers deep. Yeah. I'm like, okay, look, if she making all the money, if, if Cardi B coming there and she was like, I just want this stripper, so I'm gonna throw her 1.5 million, just throwing her 1.5 million. Yeah, that's not fair, I feel you. Yeah, the other stripper gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna catch that bitch out of the blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm no, in the Achilles bitch. Oh, God. Yeah, so, I feel that. split it all up. That, yeah. I agree with it. Okay, so do y'all feel like maybe... I say don't get that many strippers then. That's too many strippers, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, right, you know. but you got to think about, man, the payout, too. You get yeah. what I'm saying? You got to think about the business-wise again. You see what I'm saying? If I own the strip club and I got 600 strippers in here, they got to tip out. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I'm getting paid from it. I'm getting paid from the dough. Yeah. So oh, is it? So y'all think it should be something that we should uh, keep investing as to make something traditional, something with like a freak nigga almost? Man, they need to bring the free name back to They try. They try to. They try. I just seen that shit on Twitter today. Yeah. But, right. but, but, it ain't gonna but be. It, it, yeah, it ain't called the free name. It ain't gonna be like it. Nah, no, they had one with the name of the free name. Now, they do have one that I heard is similar <laughs> to the free name in uh, Biloxi. Yeah. They do it. It's uh, our Black Beach. You know what I'm saying? And it goes down. Like black people beach? Yes, yeah, like n nigga, black beach. I thought you said like the sand with my black. black. I'm about to say, nah, I, I nah. like black sand now. Nah. <laughs> I like black sand now, yeah. Okay, so, uh, now, where is, where would you not go to, right? Let's say Strip Bowl is, of course, is that in, will be in like in Atlanta, in LA. Miami or somewhere in Florida. Where was the place where you know it would just be trash? Like, don't go there. Is <laughs> they ain't the no Ohio. They ain't no Ohio. I mean, well, no, nah, you can't really. I don't think it'll be trash nowhere because you got to think about it. The strippers travel for it. Yeah, I was about to say it's a stripper ball. But yeah, they come oh, all the way from New York to, yeah, you got to all California. The pro, all the pro to. athletes showing up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Okay, so now. uh recently you know i know i'm not sure if y'all seen uh drake was making a little video elvin and marcy uh project so forth you seen that no you see no you didn't see it um so let me ask y'all this now do civilians also have to check in i know street people do i mean or have to or Whatever you know, your rank is, but like, do civilians have to check in? I mean, no, you don't. You civilians don't, you don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, they don't. You know what I'm saying? saying? So I can't, I can't ask you to do something that you don't even know what you what this the custom down here for this. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like he said, I, you, you walking into something, they gonna know if you're a civilian or if you're a street nigga. Right. Yeah. They gonna know off the bat. Right. Yeah. That's okay. why I say it depends on how that civilian coming in the area. Yeah. Like, is you coming on some, oh, I am a street nigga and nigga gonna respect me type shit? Yeah. yeah. And that's when yeah. they, yeah, that, that, they go. That, yeah. that pressure get applied to you. Yeah. yeah. You know but if you just coming to visit, I enjoy it. You know what, what I'm saying? Real. Okay. So, colors. We, <laughs> we, we, we ain't talking about color purple. <laughs> Not the color purple. The colors. So when we was out there in LA, I did happen to come across a variety of colors, mm -hmm. and I, as I recognize, you know, different people. For a good example, so six nine. They say six nine was was a more of a mastermind who went and met took advantage that the gang wanted to, well, uh, literally took advantage of the gang that wanted to use him and so forth and so on for their, for their plans. <laughs> Come on, I am I am What is, what if Ace and I, we was out, out somewhere in LA, right? And then some people came into us and said, hey, you know, we, we like what y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? We want to use y'all for our, our plan, our initiative for them. Now, Wait, if you're not about that life. I got to stop you right there. Okay, stop. Because first off, 
they can come at six nine for nothing. They didn't. No. He talked he talk them out. Six nine had to come to them, bro. We we are a criminal organization. You really think I'm finna come to you and ask you, hey, we need you to be the face of this, blase, blase? I'm not finna ask you all that. I mean, I don't know. That would be smart, though. Yeah, I mean. Technically, it would be smart. That's not what happened. He, he <laughs> threw himself in that situation mm -hmm. yeah. to try to uh, it was gain that street some, cred that he didn't have. He was with some crips before that. Exactly. No, yeah. yeah, I heard yeah. about that. Yeah. So he came to them looking for a certain amount of street cred that he wasn't getting okay. by himself. So when does a civilian turn street? That's just something that's in you, bro. Yeah, I about to say not on you. You know what I mean? Okay. So I mean, so like for six nine case, like what would would he be considered what? Man, a, a made up puppet. Thank uh, you. Uh, shit, the weird yeah. I was about to Pinocchio. say. Puppet. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. <laughs> Pinocchio. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? What was buddy name? Who, what was his buddy name he was with? Yeah, that's Geppetto. <laughs> that's who that is. Okay. So, now, we were talking about how far is too far when it comes to shooting music videos. Like, y'all would, like, if y'all say, hey, um, where would y'all where would not shoot that way? What is the limit? Say, you know, somebody, I don't know, have y'all seen that video, or that old ass music video with that, that dude? We have that no no homo pause. That black dude with you like you know sucking on on that that M <laughs> M14 or that gun whatever. What? Yeah. Oh, and he was in a dress or something. Yeah, shit. yeah. Bro, I seen that shit on Twitter, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Wow, bro. Nah, so you like, saying like dressing up in videos and shit like? I mean, regardless. Yeah, he in was general, like on some weird shit. Too far. He was on some weird shit. I you mean, mean even that's too far. That, that's Anytime silly. you define your character, yeah, yeah, right? yeah that's what I'm That's like too far. You know what I'm saying? Or doing something that you don't believe in. That's, yeah. that's too far. Yeah, that's too okay. far. So, Niggas get get money and then go and wear a dress, like yeah, nah. They or they even try to do it. They well, even do it to try to get money. But what they're trolling? That's trolling. Like that's doing it to try and get money. So do the points go against it for trolling? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody yeah. Very if you was at a team, you just got knocked down to a nigga to five. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Not the nigga down. Fifteen. Fifteen. What's the fifteen? Trolling, bro. Ain't nobody out here for that, bro. Yeah. yeah. If you real, go and be yourself, bro. Okay, so, alright. So, how far is too much cap? So, say the oh, artist is rhyming in his rhymes, right? And he says he's um, expunging his rhymes too much. Or he's just being, what's it called? I think it's off the E. Uh, uh, not extensive. Um, exaggerating. Oh, exaggerating. Oh, he's lying. Life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they say uh, everybody writes a little bit out of character sometimes, but I don't believe in it. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, so now, it, do you give points I'm against a lie. person? I'm not gonna lie. I have made characters and mm -hmm. like wrote raps about the character. But it's obvious stuff that you know nobody does. Right. Type stuff. So you did storytelling basically. Basically. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. different. That's different, but that's yeah. not saying I me. Yeah, me, you know what I'm saying? I went and shot Bobby, then I went and hit Brianna and then after that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, it's, it's not like right. I shot that, Bobby, that, then went and hit <laughs> Brianna. <laughs> that person needs to go away. Right. <laughs> well, long that's long. a dangerous person. <laughs> this man. Okay, now. Hey, but you know what? It's God's catching fed cases, man. It's just it just happened in Dallas, man. A dude wrote about a murder he did. Take Yeah. No, no. This was this was like within the last month. Yeah. Black guy in Dallas wrote about a murder he did. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And, 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 and you with glasses. Uh, I didn't see him with no glass. I just seen his mug shot. They uh, took all that. Oh, he in jail right now. all that. He in jail right now. Oh, I think yeah. someone was yeah. right there. There was a guy who just came out yeah, of jail. Was out of there. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Damn, I'm out there. That's bad. Yeah. 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 Well, okay. So, how do y'all feel about a person when they... Um, so, you shouldn't rhyme too much truth in your rhymes, then. You gotta do it. Not you, true. Gotta, you could do subliminal. Yeah. I mean, so now let's say somebody's actually in this street field, rig out here just doing like some Scarface shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they just living their best Scarface life right now. Rap <laughs> about the shit you did before this. Don't rap about the shit you currently doing. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like shit. If I'm out here 
At first, I was just stealing cars. Yeah. But now, I rob niggas face to face. face. I'm not finna say mine. I'm, I'm straight up robbing niggas. I'm gonna say, yeah, I used to steal cars. You know what I'm saying? I can, yeah. I can make a million reps on how to goddamn damn it. I stole a car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I ain't gonna never rap about what I'm doing there because you ain't gonna never catch me doing it. Yeah. I'll tell you what I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not what I'm doing now. Okay. So, um, does Eric, like, do y'all watch sports? Yeah, of course. All right. So, did y'all hear about uh, the situation with Gail, who was speaking to the um, WNBA player yeah. who mentioned Kobe's you know, passing and, and brought up Nick, the, his allegations? Gail's a hunky. You know, I'm going to just be real with her, bro. Baby. She's... She 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 played that game, bro. She you know did. what I'm saying? And she tried to make it look like that she did some accidental shit. But nah, girl, I'm speaking for the community. You fucked up. You mm -hmm. fucked I'm up. Speaking for the community. You 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 fab, bro. All right. So how y'all feel about Snoop's uh, response to that? I mean, oh, he did apologize because I know people never want to bring up them with their apologies, but he did apologize for what he did say. But how y'all feel about his first response though? Who Snoop? Mm -hmm. It was. It's it probably was well deserved. It was probably the response of everybody who heard her say that. He just openly said it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Him and Boosie. Him and Boosie. Yeah. But I knew Boosie was going to But I mean, Boosie. when you're in a position where it don't matter what the fuck you say anyway, I mean, I yeah. expect for people like that to say something. That's right. like a nigga like us, we can't get on there and talk this shit because we ain't at that position yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't want to hinder our career. But yeah, we felt like that. You know what I'm saying? We felt like it for you, sure. You don't think that could have... Um, if Snoop didn't apologize, it would have hurt his career. Hell no. Nah. I mean, Snoop. we talking about the same Snoop that goes to the cooking <laughs> shows and cuts with that white man. And you also talking about the same Snoop that beat the murder case and still had millions of dollars to go make. You talking about but the I, same Snoop that got enough money to do his own damn cooking show. We talking about, about getting, getting like, like, we, we talking about like this white people taking it down. We ain't talking about us. Cancel culture. That's what I'm talking so about. So this is why culture. white people I ain't going to take them down though. Think about it, bro. Think about it. They not going to take them down because now you're doing a white racial act. That's how it's going to look anyway. Okay. You can't do nothing against the black community, bro. Like, it's nothing you can do against the black community. You do it, now it's going to hurt them. So if they try to take Snoop down for coming like that, now it's going to hurt their business. Yeah, so, like, so, yeah. for example, let's just randomly say um, she works for, like, this, uh, whatever station that is. Uh, we're not going to get them props for that. So... So she works for that station and let's say, you know, they start putting that message saying, Oh, Snoop threatens our host, our our employee and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. Y'all feel like that could start, you know, people could try to withdraw from him and try to withdraw whatever business they have from him. Or you just feel like nah. he, he just solidified, he's old and then like fuck it, he's here. I mean, he he didn't, he didn't put that time in. He's able to say, say that yeah. type of shit. You know what I mean? If Snoop passed away right now, who gonna cry? Everybody. I mean, it, I don't think it'll be a Kobe effect, like damn. But people yeah. would be like, like, like damn, yeah, Snoop, 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 Snoop Pass or what? Okay, all right. I mean, it'll be legendary. Well, well, what artist is gonna make y'all cry if they pass away? What artist? Yeah, Wayne? I'm probably not Wayne. gonna cry for an artist to be honest. Just I don't know why. Cause I don't know them. No, not not crying because oh, yeah, like they're yeah. dead, but like someone like you know, like you really felt their music. You yeah. know, you ain't getting that shit. For me, no it's more. definitely gonna be Wayne, bro, cause. Hmm. I grew up listening to Wayne so much, bro. Like, when I first started rapping, bro, I imitated every freaking cadence this man ever did, bro. Yeah. And, and for me to for me to hear he die, oh, man, that's going to hurt me. That's yeah. going to hurt me. Because yeah. that's one of the people I really want to meet, type. Funeral. You know yeah. Funeral, yeah, uh, tell me. Uh, it's like, I don't know, bro. I ain't going to say I'm going to cry. I mean, yeah. if any artist pays, well, well, I'm gonna have shit, 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 little tear, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cry, bro. I'll be like, I'm gonna like, be fucked like, up, bro. Yeah. I'll be hurt. I ain't, I ain't gonna say I'm just gonna be hurt, bro. Probably that day when I get the news, I'll probably be like, damn, that's fucked up. But I'm gonna be completely honest by the next day, bro. I'm back to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless I'm just close to that artist, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's like they were family, too. So let me get that out there for people. People think I'm just a heartless motherfucker. <laughs> But it's like that. It's, it, you got family members that you ain't even close to. You find out they die. You like that day. You like damn, that's fucked up. The next day, you back to your regular schedule program. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's fast. Go with you, B. Uh, artists. Uh, I can't really call one man, but like I said, it, 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 and they basically said it too, man. If, if you attached to somebody, you gonna have sympathy. 
But if you ain't too much, you know, dealing with a person or, you know, interacting with a person, damn, it's fucked up. But right, besides I, besides yourself, who what artist can you listen to? Every, like almost like y'all number ones y'all listen to. Besides yourself. I can listen to Gates all day. Gates? I got a couple of them. I can listen to Gates all day. There's a couple of artists I can listen to all day. There's a couple of them, but Gates was just the first one that popped up, bro. So Gates go out right now. No team. Nah, it'd be like, damn, it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But she's back to the regular schedule program. Back to the regular schedule program. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like she... Yeah. You. Hey, much love to Kevin Gates, man. <coughs> hey, stay alive. So I'm glad to see all y'all alive. You feel me? Dead, nah, for real. I was gonna say pimp, but pimp died. Pimp, see? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, see that one? See, pimp, see, it kind of that hit me a little bit too. I'm from, I'm, Texas. I'm, I'm from Texas. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hurt. southern. That's a southern real OG right there. It yeah. hurt the whole Texas. That hurt the Texas. Texas. That yeah. man, like they hurt the state. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I and, hate it with and, that. And, and he, and, yeah. Like, man, if I could bring one artist back to life, bro, I would bring uh, DJ Screw back, bro. I love wow. talking Screw music, bro. Wow. Like that's my shit. Yeah, yeah. I love talking Screw. I wish I, I wish it would die for. Hey, boy. DJ Hollywood, <laughs> man. Hey, I already sent you some messages. You answered my call. Answer one more time, cause hey, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. If I can bring an artist back, it might sound crazy, bro. But I will pick Dobie. Oh me, what? Yeah. That's, That's a me. good pick. Cause bro, he was he was trying to do hey, something. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna take off. do something. I'm gonna tell you how I saw oh I saw Dobie is becoming like how big he was to yeah. to New that York. Was that was gonna be Dobie to the south, to the south, yeah. to, yeah. to not just to Texas or to Atlantic to the south. Yeah, Dobie yeah. had like, Dobie had a whole vibe to yeah. him. Where was this? Man, Dobie died in like 2009. Something like that. It's, it's between like 9 and 12. Mm -hmm. Damn, 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 damn. It was around 12. Yeah. All right. What about you, Ace? Are you bring an artist back to life? Uh, if I could bring an artist back to life, i say... I think mine would have been PMC. What's up, dude name? Uh... Make me smells do that at that way. I just that's what I was just saying. I, I would Snoop. bring Lil Snoop back. Yeah. 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 Because I, Lil Snoop... The snoop, the snoop was hard yeah, yeah, too. And coming, he was coming up in 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 this in this age of mumble rappers. Yeah. As a as a real rapper, like see, true rapper, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, Understood I himself. I, I don't know. I ain't never just heard this Snoop music, bro. I know I might be the only nigga here that ain't never heard it, but nah, I was on first day here, D Boy, D Boy, No Boy, No Boy, No B, No B, No B, No B, No B. I mean, I can see why though. You know what I'm saying? Because Dobie had a certain line of people that he directed his music to. Yeah, yeah, facts. So he was for the trappers and rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but Snoop, Snoop kind of, you know, said, what, what, nah, we weren't kids. Mm -hmm. Shit, early, my, back, my early 20s, yeah, Snoop was up. I got a good ass question. Snoop was up. Let's say you got two options. Option one. You get paid instantly for each gig you do, right? Option two, but okay, option one, you get paid for each gig you do, but it's a lot of money. However, like I say, you get paid then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not residual. Okay. You get paid then. Okay. But you're un you're not mainstream. Okay. Option two, you're mainstream, but you don't get a lot of money, but you get residuals. The first one. First one, mm -hmm. get the money down with no residuals, but not be mainstream. But it's a lot of money that you get up front. I'll take no, option two for sure. I'll take option two. I'm about to say, I'll definitely take option two. I'll take option two on the street, yeah, though, but music is like yeah. a passion to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It ain't shit I do for a job. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you got the ones though who would take option one, because yeah. it's a job to them. That, that's what they depending on to feed their family. But you know, man, me personally, I'm an all around hustler. I'm a jack of all trades, so yeah. I ain't just depending on it, but this is what I love to do. So I take the mainstream and get the residuals, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Ace? Uh, I said that already. 
Oh, yeah, I'm definitely taking two, man. <laughs> I might, I might, I might go take a one. I might take the one. Hey, he's doing it as a job. He just want the bread. Yeah. Now, see, reason why I would do it for one, because the residuals may take too long for what I'm trying to do. In but the you, time. I mean, in the situation Look. like that, you gonna make the money at the, at the show. So, when you so mainstream, like, bro, you just it's keep a, going, and then you, when you mainstream, you, you get you that mainstream. Stream. That's why I was just about to say, bro, when, you, when you mainstream, bro, you're not just thinking about right now. You thinking about five, ten years down the line, yeah. okay. because that that money gonna keep coming around, keep coming around, yeah. keep coming. I just recently went to go you listen see? to the franchise boys the other day. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was okay. So how they sound? Nah, I'm talking about I wouldn't listen to the old shit. Oh, damn. The old shit, yeah. I ain't listen to nothing good. I'm going to say how they say. <laughs> yeah, no, nah. no disrespect to franchise boys, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, mainstream today, is it similar to, like today than it was back then? No. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, how long do you feel like mainstream today lasts? I mean, mainstream today, gonna, it's still going to last forever. Yeah, but it's just not the same. For each artist, I'm talking, but not for like mainstream in general compared to each artist. For, for how much it is an that, artist mainstream? That depends on that artist. It depends on their team it depends and their quality, bro. They okay. good quality too. Yeah. So, do you need straight hits to make to, to be mainstream, or do you just need? Don't need straight hits. Because I'm, I'm gonna tell you, because niggas bro. start slacking after they get mainstream. Like, a lot of a lot of people okay. gonna gonna think I'm crazy, but. If you notice, bro, once once mainstream hit, once you hit mainstream, bro, it's it's very hard for you not to, you know what I'm saying, come out with hits. If you look at Drake, bro, ever since Drake did hit mainstream, Drake can say the most. But he got a lot of hits, though. And Drake is a different individual. But that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Like that's Drake what I'm saying. Like, like can I? You, you know, South Africa, bro. I can. You can. We can. Ten years. Well, shit, right now, I can listen to Take Care and bump that hoe like that hoe just came out yesterday. Okay, so what if you're not uh, a hit, what if you're not the type of artist that makes hit songs, right? <laughs> I can't listen to Drake. Why you can't listen to Drake? I ain't, I'm just not a Drake fan. Man. Because he's light-skinned nigga, man. Nah, <laughs> man. Nah, 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 man. Nah,
That's just, that's just, that's just, that's just females, females keep trying to target her. And that's just... But she clapping back now. You know what I'm saying? And, but, okay, for Nikki, you know what I'm saying? She probably <clears throat> is more aggressive because she was in an all-male sport and she probably had to make herself stand out and make herself not be that person that said, okay, we can just, like, you know, a little sister. She wanted to be number one head honcho. Right? Like, for yikes. I feel like that was some good... Now, her last album, I, 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 it's okay. It's number four at Atlanta 10. It's the four to me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's okay. <laughs> yikes, that shit hard, but people is not jacking yikes right now because they say her career is dead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she <laughs> killed it. You can't... Like, but they but they say uh, if you have a hit, that shit don't matter anymore. No, nah, it's, it's based on clout, man. It's based, off, it's based off your fan base. I mean, she has, I mean, Barb's, you know what I'm saying? They got the whole shit. Barb's ain't got a voice no goddamn way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, they done, bro. They done, listen, because she killed them. Yeah. She killed them with her. You Damn. get what I'm saying? So, thing is, bro, it ain't even based. Man, I'm pretty sure every last one of us in this room got a hit that's better than everything that's on the radio right now. It ain't about that, bro. It's about my shit. What it's about right now is my it's the people you got behind you. You got yeah. the people that can reach the people that can reach the people that can reach the people to where you done took over a whole region. That's the only way it's gonna pop, bro. But then, you know, that goes into a whole other conversation, bro. We'll be here for hours if I get to talk about that. But I wanna ask you like you say that, right? Mm hmm Look what Q C look what P Nell went and did, right? Yeah. When they jumped out, when they jumped out from one group, three boys. Can I say something though? What's up? Coach K, you know who Coach K really is? I mean, yeah, street wise, yeah. Okay, so he went and got the connects. So that's what I'm saying. You gotta have the people yeah, to have the people yeah. to have the people. You get what I'm saying? And that's what Coach K was. Coach K was that connection. He connected the dots. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's all it is, bro. Like my advice to anybody, bro, keep dropping. Keep putting your shit out. But at the same time, bro, pull up at any and every time, whether you performing, whether you getting your music played. If none of that shit is happening, still pull up and grab them connects, bro. Mm -hmm. You grab them connects, man, it'll probably take about five years, but on down the line, you ain't gonna. That's real. That's some real shit. Hey, like what you be saying. Take them notes, dog. Take them notes. 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 That shit crazy. Now let me ask y'all this. <clears throat> to stay mainstream, what if you're not an artist that makes a single hit? What if you're an artist that makes albums? Does it matter? They gonna take one off that. If you're a mainstream artist, yeah. they gonna take one off that album. Yeah, they I'm about make to say. It mainstream. They gonna make it mainstream, yeah. The D DJs make people like your song. Mm -hmm. So the song can be the wackest song ever. I'm pretty sure. It, it, I can't even think of the song right now, but it was one of those songs I hate it like a motherfucker. Yeah. But you keep hearing it. I know that motherfucker word for word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And then when it come on, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now some people be saying that, you know, people like that music and sports coincide with each other, right? They do. Now, I also see a lot of <clears throat> a lot of uh, musical artists branch out into um, acting as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, let's say, if you have, if, if you, do y'all watch movies? Let me ask y'all Y'all watch movies? That's, that's that's or, or, movie. or shows or anything. <laughs> and I watch the question. So no, no, but, but hear me out. Some people like, really don't like watching movies. I actually ask the question quite frequently. You know, a lot of people don't watch movies. Really? Yeah, you'd be surprised. What they, they watch. Like, that's so why nothing. They lie. I don't think they, 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 they are. I don't want to say that. They lie. I think they lie. I, you gonna go I, see I, a movie? Bro, you, you gonna go? So you gonna tell me that person didn't go see Black Panther? I did. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't. I don't know. Know. I didn't try to break no off. Hey, real talk. I've been asking people this, man. Is that bad that I never seen Black Panther? It kind of is. It ain't bad because I mean because it ain't on no heritage type. That's what I okay. Because I I ain't never grow up on this. Comic book shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't even name these motherfuckers, bro. Hey, I so, mean, you ain't gonna get none, no points for Doug, but you ask some points if you did see. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, so I didn't level up because I see. No, no, I mean, ain't no level <laughs> it's a good movie, <laughs> it's cool. it's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Forever, forever, forever. They could 
could be kind of saying yeah. some shit on the low, but like. I mean, it's a good movie, though. You, you should see it, though. It's good. Uh, I'm watch, bro, the movie, I'm is, is, the movie is about bro. black empowerment, bro. And they got money. Yeah. Is it really about that, bro? Because I heard them, like, superheroes type shit. Bro. It sounds some how superhero many, shit, but it is, like... How many is, black man. superheroes do you think there are? Shit, like, bro, I, don't even, I didn't even know it was okay. one until they said Black Panther. So, That's the point. <laughs> okay, no. I okay. need it. Okay, so the black, okay, so there is this one part, the black empowerment. The reason why I say we should watch it because... The, the topic of now people say okay black people should have our own land and we shouldn't share it with everybody else. Oh, the Wakanda that's, topic. Yeah, that's yeah. what the main focus was as far as Wakanda being existent a place where all black people have their own paradise compared oh, to where American black people you know what I'm saying they want to come but they don't want them them come in because you know if you do you can't have niggas everywhere. <laughs> but you can have Wakandas <laughs> all around. Hey, you, set that up. you set that one up. You didn't even know you did it. <laughs> that was a good one. So, yeah, it's, it's a good movie for sure. I'm going to actually go watch it, bro. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to go find it. <laughs> now, mommy, it's, it's very long. It's all, yeah, it's, it's, it's long. It ain't long. It ain't long. It ain't long. It's but like, it's, it's, it, that hoe is long. You can watch it, though. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah, to keep your yeah, I know when I was in Atlanta, they were showing me. They were like, yeah, this the part in Black Panther. And blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah. I ain't <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but, hey, it's, 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 I be trying to. So, y'all not gonna watch Coming to Home America too? Coming back yeah, to America too? I don't know if I'm going to. America. You're going to America. <laughs> okay. I'm going to America. Hey, dog. Hey. Come to America. Come to America. I be trying to come home when I leave this thing, dog. Bro, Coming to America was a good movie. And, and I think it's going to be classic. hard to come and yes. talk to. You know what I'm saying? But you got the Look same dude doing it, though. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Your house in there. Eddie Murphy is a fucking genius. Oh, of course. And, and he did say they would. He he also referred it. He says young people, black people should like it. That's all. And not only that, I peeped some game. Rick Ross didn't want people to know. And this is the King of Queens podcast. So I'd be a non king if I didn't share this information. Because it's because I said it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> However, but they shooting. Um, his house, well, no, his house was the part for the people on the movie, right? Mm-hmm. So, it's a good real estate game. You talking about the, y'all uh, keep the, that, that the African knowledge. Kings and Queens house? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so real estate is a good investment to, for acting, too. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of something, so. So, um, uh, now, we, we, you know, we were talking about real estate. And if you could have some property, some ownership somewhere, anywhere in the world, where'd it be? Texas. Texas? Texas is a good yeah. pick, bro. I ain't gonna need like it's Let me yeah. tell you, bro, it's so much land in Texas, it's crazy. World War Three popping off right now, where y'all going? Right now. I'm Ta- going back there. Ta- tanks pull up. <laughs> <laughs> tanks pull up right tanks. now. I'm going with my people. What what y'all doing? Tanks pull up outside. What, what, right now? Right now. What, what's up? I'm I, I I ain't gonna lie to you. He gonna sound crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Memphis because it ain't shit for them to bomb over there. They ain't looking for shit in Memphis. They gonna blow up some shit here in Texas, California, Florida. They looking at these big states that yeah. they know. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. Ain't shit, man. Them folks ain't stuck us over there. I'm gonna be sitting at the house while they down here blowing everybody the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Africa. My boy said he's still going to Africa. I'm going to Africa. They got some shit over there. I got some shit over there. Alright. It's now. Zombies <laughs> happening right now. Zombies outside. What's you can survive a zombie apocalypse, bro. Yeah, I'm fighting. Okay. I'm not finna let myself just get a lot, bro. We got, we got the zombies like, we talking. We got walking zombies and we got running zombies. This makes a difference. Bro, I don't know shit. The mobs get to run. The mobs get to run. They running like, yeah, I'll be seeing that. We finna go get the knife. We finna hit the knife. I mean, can't like, you kill them? It depends on. Depend okay. on. A zombie, yeah. if you shoot them, will they die? If you you gotta them shoot them in the head. Yeah. So you gotta shoot them in the head. You have to shoot them in the head. You have to. They're already dead. It's a brain. No, the saying. brain is the only thing that's not oh, dead. Oh, so you got to get rid of the brain. Yeah. got to get rid of the brain. Oh, oh, I can survive this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm finna yeah. get some. I'm thinking is. zombies. You, Because I know when they say zombies, is a nigga that can rise from the dead, right? Right. Yeah. So how the fuck you going to keep killing the nigga that can get back up his from brain, the dead? brain is not dead. <laughs> okay, I get it now. I'm with it. I'm with it. I can survive this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 
I feel like some people, some people would just be like, fuck it, I'm finna take it. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, some people would give up. I'm not yeah, giving up. Okay. So, I mean, zombie apocalypse, I'm, I'm killing I mean, you ain't necessarily gotta have a gun to kill them if you just gotta get rid of the brain. Right. No, you, you can stab them. Yeah. Beat them. Yeah. 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 Baseball bat. So I said, it's straight machete action. But you, you go get strapped up, too. You go get strapped up, too. Yeah, definitely yeah. strapped. If you want to get them from a distance or whatever, but I mean... The strap is for the running zombies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying. Saying for a running. Yeah, that's not running zombies. zombies. That's horrible. I would. I had. I have a question, but I forgot exactly. I can ask you something. Damn, we got talking about the zombies though. Mm. <laughs> you brought up the zombies. <laughs> I, know, right. I, I, know, the zombies. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Vic, that down. B, help me think. He said, said going back to Africa was that? No, it no, it wasn't. That. No, it was something close to that. Africa, Canada. That's what it was. There we go. See? TLB, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm the plug. Come high level. <laughs> so, check this out. Now, they were talking about how um, there was a question saying, can people from different places of the, of, the, of the world, not just within the States, come over to the U.S. and actually start making them sound like people from Britain? From uh, Britain? I actually do I what? I can't say that right. Like, you can come over and be mainstream number one artist. Like people from Canada, like Drake is from Canada, somebody from Maine. Yeah, bro, that's what they do. Yeah. If you if you never noticed, bro, a lot of uh, you got work foreign, with somebody from foreign. A yeah. lot of yeah, of course. Yeah. A lot of foreign uh, countries, money. you know what I'm saying? So yeah, they you don't drop a, a Latino uh, mix. What? Sound. Bro, I already, it's like you just fact, make the right connection. Bro. Matter of fact, 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 matter of fact, me, me and YT, <laughs> right. we got a song over there in uh the Dominican Republic. For real, that's me. Yeah, Ace. I think the DR still consider us though. Don't they consider that of the US? Like? DR with the Dominican Republic? No, I thought it was Canada. Yeah, I think so. Nah, I think they so. They consider the, D, the yeah, DR Dominican Republic. Is that part? That's not real. That's not Puerto Rico, is it? Nah, nah Dominican Republic. Yeah, that's Puerto Rico. 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 Yeah, that's Puerto would, would you be sucking on the side? I lick that bitch. Lick that bitch. What you mean? Kiss? Kiss? Girl? You <laughs> gonna have to concentrate on the nasty, man. That nigga said, oh, yeah. Lick that bitch. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna say yeah. 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 Rihanna? Mm. Okay, okay, so how you feel about her um uh, her husband? No black history money, I know she was so with a white person. It was his opinion. <laughs> with That's his money, fool. Yeah. So are you are you in that situation, bro? Are you with inter interracial uh, marriages? Bro, you love who you love. I ain't got <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's that's who you love, you gonna love that man. Right. But we're gonna uh, say come kiss her feet, bro. And, and I ain't kissing no feet. But I'm I'm with Nancy. I'm licking her ass. I'm <laughs> you licking her what? No. That's that's he licking ass. Bu -bu 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 -bu. <laughs> I heard that shit. Hey, I heard that shit. Hold on, y'all got me fucked up. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 show hey
Oh, you saying you got Rihanna? Rihanna, the dope. Remember, she has writers. What are you saying? Jeez, that's true. Party next door. Same. You really think Rihanna came up with throw it up, throw it up? Watch it up. No. If she didn't, I'd that'd be like, damn, bro. Rihanna? She did not write that by. I'm not saying she didn't write none of it, but she damn sure did not write. So you think? You think? Okay, well, nah. I think Cardi said she be having her writers for both. Cardi both. definitely has writers. So you can tell. Shit, her husband right for her. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> okay, what about, uh, uh... Hey, who was that? That's the group, bro. Uh, alright. Uh, Meg. Meg? Yeah. Who? What about him? You feel like she has writers? Nah, Meg can kind of rob, bro. She really kind of rob, like... She hard. Yeah, I about to so say no rise, no, get, no help. I ain't gonna say that she ain't got no help. You agree? I think she got. I think she get input, but I think she yeah, she right, herself, bro. She talking that it's, shit. It's, yeah. You can tell it's genuine when yeah. she hit. I'd her. rather be your B I T C H. Nigga, yeah. you don't get. Nah, man, that sounds ain't good. No matter for the silver right there. <laughs> <laughs> like real, that's something she probably was thinking in her head. Like just put this shit on wax. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, well, I, I wouldn't think that the. Lil Yachty would wrote that City Girl song. Nobody ever said that. Nobody ever said that. No, they didn't. They didn't. No, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I gave Yachty a lot of props for that. For you to. That sounds like something Lil Yachty would write, though. You know, yeah, trail ass nigga give. I mean, trail ass bitch give a fuck about Yeah, it, because man. he's funny. Like, like. He's funny. Yeah, yeah, he's a sarcastic you know ass nigga, man. I mean. And he probably didn't even write it and say real ass bitch give a he fuck about a nigga. He probably nigga said real ass nigga bitch. give a fuck about a bitch. Yeah. But you know they gotta flip it the way they do. But it yeah, sounds like something y'all didn't do though. Yeah, it does. It sounds like something yeah, little y'all didn't do. But when I first heard it, bro, I was like, the fuck? Yeah. Let me get you a towel, bro. Nah, nigga though. I'm taking her. Her? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 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 That's a good one. She mm-hmm. rocking. Okay. Ah, that'd be. Have y'all heard yeah, of, uh, yeah, no, we'll turn that bitch up. Be, uh, we'll turn that bitch up. Oh, that's right. Her name is Kirby. Who? Kirby? The one Kirby? Yeah. She black. Nah, I heard Kirby. of Kirby, though. I seen, like, a little complex thing on her. Yeah. But I don't know about her. See, I just, I just listened to her last album. This shit hard, bro. I'm, I'm not too big in R&B. I you know it's like, lady singing. Kirby? Like. Yeah. Yeah, she look good, too. I mean, you know. Ain't not Kirby respect. as she in. She look good? Kirby I mean, as in the, the little pink shout girl. out to my lady too. I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, you so sweet. You know, I, I try to hold it down. Oh, you so sweet, I hold, bro. I hold, I hold it down for the folks. <laughs> I hold so it down sweet. for the folks. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Okay, y'all should go check out that Kirby. That's it. Um, now, does voice, does voices make a huge difference to records, y'all? Yes, yeah. So voice matters. What artists? Cause right now people be saying little baby going <coughs> off the charts, and I, and I agree. He be he got some some hard verses, but yeah, I can't listen to his voice, bro. I just can't do it. That nigga voice perfect for the song. It baby, is. Baby, yeah, yeah. That not not do it get repetitive? Ooh. Yes. It gets very repetitive. Yeah, yeah, okay. Every verse okay. he get his dick sucked, so I get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But the nigga voice, but he might be getting that much head too. You know what I'm saying? Right? He might have just got some. You know what I'm saying? He might. That's what I'm saying. Look, man, I'm right about what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, she topping me off. I'm sucking the titties. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But man, I mean, I think his voice is perfect for the style of music that he do. You gotta find yourself. Who is somebody that you just can't stand, like? Listening like, to, like, listening to, like you can listen to him, but then like after about twenty minutes of that shit, you like, all right, my nigga, it's time. To yeah, I think Ace told me he said he ain't like listening to Lil Boosie. I, I can't like the Migos. Lil Boosie, yeah, I, I listen to Boosie. <laughs> yeah, hey, that nigga just lied on me. I don't even know Migos. if I should say this on camera. Yeah, about you just- um, yeah I, I I really jam Lil Boosie music, but when he first was coming out, it was hard. I couldn't do it. It just the voice is just like. It, like screeching nails on the charcoal. That was cause it's all of it sound better now. Boozy had some back, some sorry yeah, ass yeah. production when he first came out, and I can say this on camera cause he agreed with it. Like yeah. it was like that basement shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He didn't have, that's why he sounded like that. Okay. Okay. But okay. Well, hey, he was saying some shit on yeah. certain things. He was saying some yeah, shit. What about you, X? I'm still thinking. I'm trying to see. Like it's a lot of like. uh 
Because it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, but a yeah. lot of people just sound the same. I'm I, I, be, I, don't, I don't like that, the, you know, artists be sounding the same. So it just makes it annoying because you're hearing it repetitively. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So kind of like so, what A.B. was talking about earlier. You feel like people were saying like, you know, like Yeah, kind of like, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would say, um, I don't know, future, future voice. Future? Me, I feel, know. I can't, I'm I can't say, I, it's I, I, I understand you what you mean. I, I fuck with future, but yeah. his voice is, I gotta turn this shit off, bro. At, after a certain point, I gotta oh, turn that shit off. Future be saying some shit, man. Yeah, like. <laughs> they do, but like, turn off the lights. I'm looking for it. <laughs> yeah, certain songs, though, like, I'll be like, all right, man, this shit gets me on. But, like, Future, Future does have, but that's just his style. I was about to say, that's his style. style. He birthed a lot of niggas that's, that's been coming. Yeah, yeah. it's just sweet, man. But, like I said, that Rallo. Yeah. Rallo? Rallo. 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 I cannot stand that nigga voice. I mean, yeah. his voice yeah. is not made for rapping, It's bro. not, bro. He should be a comedian or something. Dang, that's right. <laughs> he should be a comedian, bro. Because that just, 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 that yeah. Just, uh, bro, bro. Ain't, ain't that the person that said, uh, 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 no. Pop shit, pop shit, 12 can't stop shit. Yeah, that, Fam, that's the goon. shit I heard. That's, that's Rollo. Fam, goon. Okay. Yeah. The nigga that went to jail for, for telling Vlad he made a hundred, a million dollars on the street. What? What? Yeah, bro, he's wow. crazy, bro. He, 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 he wanted he to go to prison, bro. That man got on Vlad and told him, I made a million in the street. Well, that's crazy. I don't like Vlad either. Vlad alone. Yeah, man. Vlad, yeah. Vlad, 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 get all the information from him and get niggas down. Informed, man. Man, I'm He's a, an informant, man. Hey, cut this too. Before I call you for an interview, bro, a lot of people don't think about this, bro. Send that ass a rider, bro. Mm -hmm. You send that ass a rider, bro, they got a buy by that, or you can get the fuck up and walk out that interview without it penalizing you. Yeah. That's what more people fail to do, man. Like, shit, what you think Birdman did? That man mm -hmm. sent they ass a router and then went in there and said what the fuck he wanted to say and walked out. Is yeah. we done or is we done? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You just told you about having my name like that, cuz. I'll trill y'all. Yeah? All right, so how do y'all feel about artists signing to people with that type of stigma attached to their name? <clears throat> it's kind of oh. hard, bro. Cause I mean, like I like with with baby, if you hot, he gonna fuck with you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay. If if you hot, he gonna you know what I'm saying. But then, like I say, bro, people gotta understand the business that they get into too, man. Like the paperwork of it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's it that's don't where it get major. You deal with. Yeah, it don't matter who you deal with, bro. If Suge Knight was still out here signing the artist, then I'd go straight over there with Suge. Yeah, know? yeah, because Suge's going to make the nigga rich. Yeah, yeah, Suge. If he, if he don't make you rich off your music, he's going to go take it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's really about the real shit. It ain't about who you deal with. They can have the most grimiest name in the industry, bro. It's your people. Yeah. The people that you got having in your paperwork and yeah. your beat. If they can't make sure that shit is straight, bro, then your people feel you, not the person who got over. Yeah. So, so who failed Wayne? She Wayne didn't have no better. She Wayne, was, Wayne was really out the mud, folks. Like yeah. that, they come up and that business was together. Yeah, you so know what I'm saying. Birdman failed to himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I can't. You can't say that to mind it. I mean, he took he, care of that nigga, man. Yeah, yeah did facts. he really not pay him, facts. or did he? You he know just what didn't pay him the amount that was probably wanted. Yeah. But I feel like nigga Wayne, you was very much taken care of. But at the same time, I'm very much taking care of y'all. So for a long time, Wayne was the only artist that was really popping like that. Over I mean, shit, no, but that wasn't Wayne's fault. You know what I'm saying? Wayne just jumped in the game, goddamn me, and twisted it. You know what I'm saying? Not facts. He mixed it up. You know what I'm saying? He had a badass run with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Okay, so Meek Mill is also talking about how new artists should start, you know, to sign with people that want to do better for them or you know, have a better deal structure for them compared to people going straight to like certain labels. Now, do y'all feel that he has a point? But I mean, go, of course it goes the same way, you know, watch the contract, paperwork and so to forth. To me, to me, I feel like right now people are signed to whoever has the best machine to put you in front of people. Yeah. That's who people are signing to. So as far as signing with somebody that want to do good for you, like he said, that's yeah, your team. Yeah, it's, it's definitely about the money. I so, mean, 
So let's say somebody come up with a deal. I can't remember who it was. They say come to you with like a a deal if it's like what you got forty thousand, but you get probably a little bit more on the back end. Who was that dude that was um he was signed he signed to Meek Mill. He was talking to uh, Blueface. He was beating with Blueface about the whole him buying his mama house over it instead of buying the chain. Cause Blueface was telling him that same forty thousand he got for Meek. He could have bought no buy the chain because he was saying invest in yourself as an artist. Cause sometimes that may be a chain for some people, but for him, he chose to invest in, in a home for his mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so invest in yourself as an artist or buy a house for your mom. I get it on both ends. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, cause you gotta have a certain image as an artist too. Yeah. And if you're not taking advancements from the label to where you owing the label to have that image. Then shit, you do gotta spend your money yourself. But then again, I mean, who don't wanna take care of their moms too? So right. it's like, it's like, it's a 50 50 thing. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I wouldn't know what I'd do in this situation. You know, I guess it depends if my mama pissed me off at that time. <laughs> 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 like, for real, she, she pissed me off now. Y'all ain't gonna stay over there. I'm finna get this turn. Nah, man. <laughs> I get this money again, now let's see how you act, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I'll just bullshit. <laughs> but nah, who, 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 you know what I'm saying? A couple of other OGs from the hood that wasn't trying to see a young nigga go left. They want to see a nigga go straight, make that line towards that money and do what you got to do. Yeah. So with me, bro, I, I probably buy my mama the house. Yeah, because because with me, bro, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an image thing, but at the same time, I got some assets under my family name right now. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you this again. Same two houses really. Would you take the stuff up front or would you take it in residuals? I'm taking the residuals. Yeah, that's the best. But we're still, I'm still going residuals. But if you take it up front, you can buy your mom the house right then. But, and, and, but if I take but a residual, if I take a residual, I can still get my mom in the house and still have enough money to maintain what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. If you're taking it up front, it's going to be like you living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, right. you, know you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You get into this and you, you, you build a career to not live paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Okay. I know because I know a lot of people say, well, a lot of artists. Oh, we, all right. Um, top five. What's everybody top five? I already named because you didn't hear my top five. Uh, right now, Drake, Kendrick, uh, um, Biggie, uh, Screw. Yeah, little Screw. And my last one was. Sauce. I put sauce in there because I need someone underground. That's dope. Well, not me. Nice That's a nice lineup. That's yeah. a nice lineup. What about y'all? Uh, my my first my first three or four probably gonna be pretty obvious. So, uh, Biggie, Pop, Lil Wayne, I'm gonna go J Cole. But I'm gonna throw them in there as as a as one UGK. Okay, I'll, I'll throw that. All right, I'm gonna say that's our just remember what it was too. All right, I'm gonna say uh, of course Gotti. Okay. You know, so you heard his last album did drop too. Yeah. That shit was hard. I'm a fan of it, bro. Damn. <laughs> of course Gotti. Um, Bobby. Of course, okay. Biology, I'm gonna put them as one. Okay. Uh, you can give me, uh, it's gonna be crazy when I say this person I ain't, bro, but Dro. Dro? Uh, young Dro. Young Dro? Hey, Young Dro is crazy. Young Dro is crazy. I'm gonna say Dro, and I'm gonna say, um, damn, probably put. I'm gonna throw Zo in there because me and Zo got something going on, man. Yeah, yeah. So Gorilla Zo in there. Hey, all right, all right. One thousand, yeah. one thousand. I'm gonna have to put him in there. That man said, damn. damn. Um, I, I wanna do two honorable mentions on mine. So. Uh, 
Fuck I want to throw T Pain in there. As an honorable mention? Hell yeah. Because I fuck with Pain. <coughs> and I also want to throw in Zero. Because uh, I fuck with Zero. Zero too. was a big part of my childhood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't, I wasn't, not was, not first, my. Right. Nah. Okay, okay, Ace. All right. I need to get that man no. Yeah, I need to get that man no. I'm going uh, Cole, J. Cole, Lil Wayne, for sure. Uh, Okay, I'm going to do... You said Cole and Wayne? Yeah, Cole and Wayne. That's that's a nice combo. Cole and Wayne. I'm going to throw... I'm going to throw... Gotta do an R&B artist. I got a feeling though you finna pick, but okay. Oh. You finna say, oh, yeah. Jacquees. Nah, Hell no. No, <laughs> no sir. Well, hey, if you gonna go over the R&B. He was most likely finna go Chris Brown. Chris, yeah, man, that Chris. nigga the truth, man. Go go that Chris nigga Brown. the truth. But if bro. you gonna go in the R&B field, man, you cannot not mention Beyonce, bro. <laughs> Like but you I'm not, I'm not I'm mentioning her. I mean, bro. She a genius, she bro. Who, <laughs> who's better than Beyonce right now? Nobody. I mean, you, you can't really put. Well. You can't really put. <laughs> Uh, who better than Beyonce category together though? You can't. You can't put a who close to Beyonce category together. Yeah, you can't. I mean, okay, so what makes Beyonce so untouchable? Right? She's a genius, bro. Yeah. Bro, she's a genius. Yeah. She's good at placement. She has the talent. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Her voice is crazy. You know what? A person can write a song for her, bro. You would never know that person wrote it because of the way she delivered it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? She yeah. take pride in what she do, bro. Like, she just, she the truth. She yeah. She the truth. Texas born. I Texas yeah. raised, baby. Hey, I Texas talking. got some talent, Texas, bro. Baby. Hey, shout out to Texas. Texas, Texas, Texas got babies, man. Texas got talent for sure. Mm-hmm. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of talent in Texas. Okay. B? Wait, did you say the other two? I did said, no, nah, I said three. He said three, he said uh, J. Cole, Lil Wayne, Chris Brown. Yeah. All right, uh, so I'm going to go. <clears throat> so in that love, I got to do somebody from, from here. So. I think, uh, hey, ooh, this is good. Hey, I was going to say bro. Zero? Okay. I was out there. What about Trey? I ain't fucking with Trey. Hey, I, I fucked with Zero harder. Yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Trey Songz, though. Trey Songz. I'm like, hey, Trey Songz is hard, too, dog. Trey and Truth, boy. <laughs> Trey Songz, he good, bro. He, nah, uh, we ain't talking about that Trey right yeah, now. Yeah, Trey yeah, the Truth, yeah. though. That boy, there. Yeah. I used to make yeah. his flow, too. Yeah, that nigga. That is hard to do. See, I, I get mine with zero, bro. I'm going to tell you, I, I, I ain't never give zero a chance. You know why? Because wow. when I first came down here, not leaving here, yeah. I just came down here. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, you ain't never heard this zero? Like, nah. No. Yeah. And the first song they play is, I hate you, bitch. Uh, that's not the first yeah. song you supposed well, listen, to play. Yeah. And that's, that's what good. made me not like it because the shit was so depressing, bro. Yeah, but you, yeah, but yeah. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Zero was going through a lot of shit. Yeah, first impression is your last though, bro. Like, don't I give me that first. That, that, I, I, uh, he yeah. had good songs uh, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he especially all, that dude. especially <laughs> the whole Avian boys. You hear me? The whole Avian. See, I'm gonna have to, I, I ain't gonna lie though, bro. I gotta go back and just go listen to some Zero. No, no you do. You gotta go back to that road when, like, I found me, and you gotta go back to that. When he was a young nigga, bro. Yeah, yeah. he was hard, bro. Yeah. But you know where people did have they differences with Ro back then was because he did he, he did deliver his shit like pop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was his dilemma then and now. I mean, shit, he getting older, bro. So I don't expect Zero to be, you know, goddamn military minded. Bro, now he dropping some shit right now. I mean, yeah, he dropping some peace shit now. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Still Who? Fire. Zero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he dropped some, right some peace shit. Slim Thug dropped some peace yeah. shit. Yeah, boy, Bun B the hardest man to come out of Texas to me, bro. Nah, man. Bun the hardest man. Bun the hardest man. Shout out to Big Hog, man. Hey, man. So, I, I'm going to ask all y'all this question. I know you're not from Texas, but I'm still going to ask you as an OG in the game. You feel mm-hmm. me? So, uh, give me your, your top five Southern artists. 
Top five. Southern? Southern. All right. Uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> I knew that was going to perk him up. I knew that was going to perk him up. What's up? I'm, I'm going to go. Not in order. Not in order. Five. Okay. Because <laughs> that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. Order. Texas? Texas. Not Texas. Oh, Southern. Southern. Oh, shit, my Southern. list stayed the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everybody was Southern that I named. Unless y'all still... You know what, bro? I moved down here and I figured out, bro, that y'all don't need to consider Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Nah, that's the South. Nah, that's the yeah, South. That's the South. Nah, Cause people been telling me, man, are you from up north? You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, what the nah, fuck nah, is that? I ain't no up north. Okay, man, so yeah, my, my list stay the same, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, nah, if we talking Texas, why? Nah, okay, well, if we, if y'all want to go there, I, I was trying not to do that because that's a hard list. But okay, what's it the top five it in ain't. Texas? It ain't. Now time. I ain't gonna do Texas. I'm gonna do the South. Okay, do the South. Hot boys. Who? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. You 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 know what I'm saying? You gotta go. Uh, and I know I said hot boys, but uh, juvie for. Yeah, I'm saying you gotta break the hot boys down nah, yourself. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta break the hot boys down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can't just because yeah. see them collectively like you was getting you was getting that hot shit, but you wasn't getting like. You wasn't getting them until they but individually started that, doing that shit. To break that group down, bro, that's... Man, them niggas, Turk was the hardest one, bro. Hmm. With Turk, younger Turk? Yeah, yeah, Turk, yeah. Turk. Man, Turk, Turk, Turk was yeah, spinning. Turk, 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 Turk went to jail and came yep. back with the... I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but shout out to Turk, man. That's my boy, man. I fuck with Turk, too. But... And I, just, I done told him this shit, too. But he went to jail and came back with that. I don't know what the fuck. But... Man, Turk was the harder one at first, bro. Yeah. Uh, then you got Juvie, then you got BG. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna come back to you, Nash. Because uh, <laughs> uh, you look like you. you nah, did. nah, I was really waiting on y'all to get done. But, uh, like he said, A by MJG. So you are going to use. You are going to Hot Boys? I'm going Hot Boys. A by MJG. Okay. Master P. Ooh. Oh, you gotta put oh, P in there. Take, take it, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. bro. <laughs> Gotta put uh, P in there. My last two. My last two. Who you else was murder in there? Nah, I'm gonna leave murder where he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave murder where he is. Murder, yeah, murder, where yeah, go, murder in there. Nah, man. And, and, and to be honest with you, bro, I fuck with murder, but murder scared me. For you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, was, he was a killer by nature, man. Yeah. And he spoke that shit very well and fluent, so. I got a question about them niggas, too. No what? Now, nah, talk about it. I'm What's just up? saying, bro. Do y'all feel like P and murder forced Silk to rap, bro? Because I don't feel like Silk was supposed to be in there. I feel I mean, like that was I like. Think just, it, I think it's a. His, I don't think it's a forced thing. I think it's a family thing because they are family. Yeah, you and know, I know what I mean? It's probably I, like, nah, little nigga, bro, yeah, your family. Don't come over here with us, bro. We all gonna get some money. Yeah. Sim was yeah. a rapper, bro. Sim did have was a rapper, bro. Sim did have cars. Sim couldn't catch a beat if you put but, it in his but, hand. But bro. that's <laughs> that, that, that was that's why he was Sim, bro. Like, <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can put you on some. I can put you on some shit like. Charger to the game, Silk the Shocker. Goddamn me, like, he was on that bitch and he got some tracks with motherfucking Master P and Mystical nigga that is hard in a bitch. See, I don't know, man. Cause we, I was just listening to this shit the other day, like the bourbons in the lake. Yeah. You know, with Silk on there. Yeah. Like, Silk through, like, the song was riding, but when, like, Silk came on there, it was like, mm. man, y'all should just drop the whole beat out and just let him say what he need to say. That probably would have went better, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like with the beat, he not really. Yeah, that man was like, you know, uh, you see me? I'm just chilling. Uh, I still give a junkie five dollars to wipe my white walls. Then I press about the block. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck he was on, Silk? <laughs> yeah, he was doing that shit though, man. Like, I, I, I you can't. You can't knock it, bro, cause it was just real. He was speaking hood shit. But yeah, then he I, was speaking this shit though. But it's just like he didn't know how to put it there. Uh, I mean, his delivery was not, yeah. I mean, that was the problem. Yeah, all right, come on, finish your list. You finished off with Master P. All right, so that's you my third. Long. That's my third. Yeah. Uh, We're going to go. Uh, uh, out to South, out to South. Uh, Pimp. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to go. My, 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 my. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna, I'm 
I'm going to put Big Mo in there, too. Oh, no. you just my nigga. <laughs> That's my nigga. All right. Put Big Mo in so he, he pretty much got a lot of money. Right. Yeah, uh, UGK, of course. You know what I'm saying? Screw House, of course. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, Screw House, bro. <laughs> 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 This thing uh, was funny to me, y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, I'm, I can throw Master P in there. I can throw Master P. You got to smell P when you mention the sound. Yeah, yeah I got I to gotta mention it, bro, because if, if you don't mention Master P from so I don't believe you're not from here. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, of course, Master P, I got two more. Wayne, of course. I already said UGK, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did say Screw House, which includes yeah, Big Mo. That's one. I give you one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're gonna take it. Take out K's with him. You wanna take out K's? Out K's? I'll take out K's. I'll take out K's too, bro. I'll take out K's. You know what? Yeah. I, that's definitely a five. That's definitely that's a five. five. And, yeah. and, yeah. That's and I'm talking five. about the, the, the uh, um, Snack on you. That, nah, I'll be for that, nigga. I'm talking about the bitch where they had, uh, with the old school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, and when they yeah. was dropping crumbling herb. And, oh, yeah. 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 You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, that I, that that's, was that's the album. I appreciate that one. That's, that was yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that was, yes. you can't mention the South without them either. Yeah, yeah that's they true. They had that's a big influence. True. That's true. So I was going to go, uh, I was going to go Outkast. I'm going to throw that in there because that shit hard. I was gonna go uh, Master P. I was gonna go, uh, let's see. The third one, Mo. Okay. Big Mo. Uh, shit. That's why I have to mention the screw house because there's too many of them niggas. I'm to yeah, you gotta put them all together. What's too many? Ain't Juicy J now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I want to say y'all ain't gonna no put it's three six? It's, it's, yeah. it's the funny. They go on mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a lot of great seven artists. Yeah, yeah. That's the reason I post. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, say three six. Yeah, I get three six. Cause if you break them down, they they, they not that. I ain't gonna lie, they were trash apart. Together, but shit, right. Project shit, he kept his shit funky. When see Project Pat one there with three six, Project I'm Pat was just he, he was signed under hypnotized man. Uh, so I'm saying three six mafia is is Paul Juicy, uh, What's the, Coop, Lord Boo? Infamous, uh, Crunchy, Boo. That was that was that's three six mafia. Then you got uh, then you got triple six. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when Lil Chat now came. You see what I'm saying? Lil White, Fraser Boy was never a part. Yeah, Fraser Boy was a part of them, but then Pat was always solo. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Hey, now nah, Pat. You that nigga Pat Rock. Bring your project Pat Talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that nigga still be shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he do. That nigga he still do. be shit. He, he, he got some killer shit out right now mm -hmm. that I, I heard. Okay, so let me ask y'all this, right? Um, did you want, did you drop your list? You lit your list? Yeah, my he said he, the the sun. Sun. he just added three six. Okay, so what is your life expectancy on this. Let's say you go mainstream, what is your end goal? What are you trying to accomplish and when do you choose to retire? I, for me, I don't think there is one. I love doing music so much, bro, to where even if it does get get to that point or not, I'm still going to do music regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... Yes, it's... I want to have my fans, the people that love me and stuff like that, but also, it's for my own sanity. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's Sometimes, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes niggas want to say stuff that you really can't say to other people because you don't know how that person's going to judge you. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm saying it on my song, I don't care what you feel. Right, right. Because that was for me. That was to get that off of me. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I, that's what I kind of felt like. That's what it was with Zero. That's some real shit. Yeah. Like these niggas, man. Why you ain't never let me beat these niggas? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we alright, folks. <laughs> we alright. Right. Um, what's up? Uh, I agree. With, I agree with Robo. And I mean, like your life expectancy. Like, let's say, like, where's your end goal? And, like, how far you want to go with this? And 
when you use every every time. Hey man, I want I, I want to perform in front of the biggest nastiest crowds across That's the world. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm embracing this nasty shit, and I want y'all to know. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm some real shit. I'm not telling y'all to be freaks and go eat ass and you know what I'm saying. I'm telling y'all some real live shit. Like bro, live your life life nasty, grind nasty. God damn me. When you get on that stage, go nasty, goddamn me. It's just, you know, it's a hey, nigga, it's, it's, it's just a, it's a consistent. It's a movement. It's, it's a, movement. a movement. It's a grind. It's a, way it's a hustle. You know what I'm saying? And it's a brand. Goddamn me. Just, nah. And to get back to your question, P, I'm like, bro, I, I, I want to perform across the world, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to be on some Michael Jackson status type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and put this shit in there. To the universe, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I I want to goddamn me sit with the elites, goddamn me, and, and and come up with 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 ways, you know what I'm saying, to improve these neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying, like, cause nigga been around, you know, I did my street shit and you know been around people that you know did this and did that and like bro, what these kids dying over now, bro, it just ain't worth. You know what I'm saying? And I really feel like, bro, niggas ain't speaking up, man, cause it ain't no way, my nigga, I'm putting no pack in no 12, 13 year old hand. You know what, what I'm saying? Until you flood that bitch. You know what I mean? No way. That's, that's not a, and that's not even, man, I'm a daddy. That's not an OG move. You know what I'm saying? That's not, not an OG, OG move. move. And, and, and Gotti, Gotti really, bro, that big homie rules, man. Boy. If y'all ain't heard it, you gotta on. listen to it, bro. It, it's, yeah. real, it's real as fuck, bro. Yeah. Like Gotti broke that shit. Gotti is a big homie, and you can yeah, tell. You know what I'm saying? Man. He he got whoever up on the CMG. He got him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure he didn't have that talk with youngster and told youngster, "God damn it, sight, sight. We trying to get some bigger money. You know what I'm saying? But you gonna have to calm that shit yeah, down. Calm down. You can still be a wild boy, but you know what I'm saying? It's the time for this shit. Yeah. So you know, I just wanna, I wanna be able to impact somebody that you know what I'm saying. I can't, I ain't, ain't really got that platform to do. You know what I mean? So you see, gonna be like Michael Jackson, so you can do a feature with Lil Nas X? Yeah, I would. For the bad. Alright. You know, even though he's a homosexual, you know, I, you know. But I, I think I would. <laughs> He's not saying he got nothing against homosexuals. No, no, I, I don't have a problem with no homosexual. Man. <laughs> Stop y'all saying live, it. Y'all live <laughs> y'all life, man. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Oh, I man. love all my people, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Right, about you, man. I don't even know the question, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know the question, bro. <laughs> what is your end goal, and what do you plan to do, like, you know, every oh, time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, babe. <clears throat> my end goal, I just want to be able to like, I want to put myself into the position where I could uh, like really get my family like on a track to where like we all we all got our own money type shit. Like I want to build a like family empire of like whatever you want to do like go get that shit like type shit. Like we gotta build ourselves to for where our our gen our gener generational wealth basically. Right? We gotta build ourselves to where. It's we helping our family down the line, like in the past. You know what I'm saying? That's some real shit. So I want to be able to put myself in a position where I can, you know, I can do that. Whatever I'm doing, I don't even care if it's music or it's whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm putting my mind on. So when you put your family on, huh? You 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 will retire. You said what's on what? When once you accomplish and putting your family on and uh, getting your generational self well I wouldn't retire now because I don't still love music like but I'm a I'm a branch out do every it is business ventures you know what I'm saying you can do whatever you want to do in this business to gain your gain your money and then you go invest that into what you need you know what I'm saying? that's real how about you the time um, I love music been doing this shit since I was like eight bro First time ever recording in the studio, I was eight years old. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with you, I never retire. Now, to be completely honest, bro, what, I, what I'm working towards now, like right now as we speak, bro, it's opening up doors for all the artists I can, bro. You know, it's a lot of talent out here. 
and a lot of people never get the chance to be heard or never get the chance to experience and meet and travel the world with different people mm -hmm. because they never made that connection and bond, bro. Like, 2014, I stopped doing music for a minute. Yeah. And all I did was travel to every music uh, convention, every every little thing they got going on with music, bro. And I built bonds and I built connections. That's crazy. Bro. So now my phone full of motherfuckers. And every time I drop something, it pops right out. That's you know what I'm saying? I don't have no problem with it. I don't have no problem getting it out there. Even if it ain't even the hardest thing I got done, they fuck with it. They gonna help yeah. me because we built a relationship. You know what I'm saying? So now that I got that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to build a team. And if I can build that team, once I build that team, and that team also helps me get where I'm going, I'm bringing that team with me. It's like, you put that foot in the door, they can't shut the door on your foot. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to kick that bitch open and swing and get everybody through there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now all of us through there. Now that's... Let's just say all of us in here was a team. You see what I'm saying? There's one, two, three, four, five, six people in here, right? Each six of us got families. And each six of us got homeboys that we can bring through the door. So if it started with us six and we swing through the door, guess what us six can do? We can make a difference for six different families. And that six different families can make a difference for well, six different families. Yeah. Man, and what it does, bro, it just takes over, bro. So that's all I've been focused on, you know what I'm saying? Like... <clears throat> And that's crazy because that's something me and uh, Zoe was just talking about. You know what I'm saying? And really that's how it happened with me and Zoe. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it was more so of my shit. I got the tools. And I know you've been grinding to get the tools. So let's work. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's just all it is, bro. I never retire. Even if it ends up with me not doing music myself. Yeah. Even if it <laughs> ends up to me finding the talent and like, boom, finna put you on. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. got the talent. Let me show you what you can do, bro. Let me help you through these steps. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna be doing, bro. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna stop dealing with music until goddamn it they put me in the dirt. That's real. Hey, that's G shit right there. Not for real. That's, 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 and the words of your guy is big homie shit right there. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. That's big homie shit right there. That's lit. Okay. So, let me ask you this. What is one thing your most pet peeve that you cannot stand when recording some music? <sighs> Get them motherfuckers in the studio. Yeah. I don't want no bitches in the studio. <laughs> I don't want no niggas in the studio. I'm not trying to burn no blunts in this motherfucker. I'm not trying to drink up in this motherfucker. I can't here to do a job. No ready to go afterwards. Well, I mean that's 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 how we prep. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I ain't gonna lie, we blunts liquor. You know, I ain't we I ain't gotta have no woman around, but shit. I need a little blunt or two or three. And yeah, shit, a little bit of yak, and we can goddamn me get it going. Yeah. I mean, and it's to each his own, bro. I ain't, yeah, ain't yeah, taking that nah, for nah, nobody. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Me, I just can't drink until after I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do none of that. Like, when I do shows, bro, I don't drink until I get off the stage. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now, I ain't gonna laugh. If I drink before I get on the stage, the hoe gonna be even more turned up. But yeah, 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 yeah. I like to know what I'm doing. I like to follow the process but, of what I set right, up. And like you said, yeah, you know, it's all about how you manage your. Yo, yo, poison. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And see, I didn't been, you know, you know, and I had to learn. But goddamn me, like now I know, you know, if I'm if I'm in the studio and I need to write something, all right, bitch, we gonna smoke a blunt. We might smoke two blunts, goddamn me. But on that yet, I I gotta, you know, cause I like I drink. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Me too. And then I'm by, the, by the time I got to my verse, bitch, I'm so drunk and yeah, damn, now I can't even. You know what I'm so oh, shit, I, I I I'm really, you know, um, post some mm -hmm. light and you know get out the way. But a pet peeve, unless you just a pet out. peeve. Yeah. When I'm in my zone, and you cut me off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm the in engineer? my zone zone. So when the engineer cut you yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I already knew what it was. I knew what it was. You, you know, know it was. just like nah, for real, cause I really be in my vibe, bro, and then you. Turn around and you know put on a whole another big nigga be like damn bro, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's mine. How about y'all? Tilly. Yeah, I'm um, just running my whole vibe in general. Females, I, I'm definitely with him. Females, you know what I'm saying? Not there, no lie. 
definitely don't have me some weed. I'm a real big smoker. But um, drinking, I don't do too much drinking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a drinking type of person. Makes him dysfunctional. Yeah. <laughs> Very. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they, they know when I drink, I, I, I can't be in the studio and drinking. Because... That he can be in the studio, but he ain't writing no yeah, working on shit. My ass, my ass is out of there. I'm not drinking like that. But right. if I'm smoking, then I do that shit. I will be in the studio. I'm not living that hell if I just sit there and smoke and write. Nigga, really shit. Hey, no pet peeves. Pet peeves. I do not like when people call me while I'm doing the verse. <laughs> Like if I got my phone in there, if I'm actually reading off the phone, <laughs> yeah. I hate that shit. You gotta put that on do not disturb, sir. Nah, they have still going to ring. Put that on airplane mode. Ain't shit coming through right. while you doing that anymore. Swear to God. But, but yeah, that's If you got a lady on, don't, don't do it, bro. She call your phone and you ain't answering them motherfuckers. You probably be at the studio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you she actually is at the studio, but she ain't yeah, gonna believe that. She ain't gonna believe yeah, your shit going to board, man. Boy, fuck, fuck wrong with you. By the time you you cut the hell back off for airplane mode, nigga, you got thirty calls, <laughs> texts, my stress levels increasing right now. Oh, oh, I'm deaf. <laughs> <three. laughs> <laughs> you had a relationship threat, a death threat, all in the same paragraph. Yeah, Damn. Yeah. Let's not reminisce on evil times. <laughs> you gonna get I'm, I'm for real. You gonna get that I kill you and that bitch text. Oh god, bitch ass. Nah, nah, nah. that, that is that is really that is mental and that verbal abuse. Yeah, yeah, that's you, you need to stand up for you. You're, you're yeah, you help. gotta sit in the <laughs> with the radio all contemplating right. on how you finna go in the house and try to explain that it is. It's in. four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. It hit about four burn. I know she pee. I ain't my hair gonna stay out. Man, stay shit, out. I'm already fucked up. Yeah. I'm already in trouble. I'm like, where's it? Don't leave it on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no fixing it. No way you go. No way, bro. It ain't no fixing it. I did with that one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just made a fast song too. I ain't trying to break my momentum. Oh, God. Recording the public studios. Like I hate public studios. Like I need private. private. So like, she, me, and my boy, we rented out a house. You know what I'm saying? So we paid them rent on the house every month. But that's where we set everything up. It. You know what I'm saying? We done knock walls out of this motherfucker. Oh, God. Like. That's just what we do. I just rather have it private, bro. I don't, I don't like motherfucker walking in and just talk to the engineer while I'm recording. Yeah. The engineer don't even hear that I stumbled over the word. He like, all right, what's next? Yeah. Like, yeah. nah, nigga, that ain't nothing next. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so, this shit. Yeah, yeah, so I just like private sessions, bro. Uh, yeah. So you got your place posted up like a, a yay somewhere off in the, like, the ranch. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's in the hood, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now for me... You know, when I'm doing different interviews, I'm meeting new people and so forth, I'll be getting kind of anxiety. Now, it's up, I know you just, you know I'm saying, did a song with Real Zone. Uh, how is it, how is the process, I'm asking, I'm going to ask, ask her as well, how is the process when uh, meeting new artists, especially ones that we listen to and kind of grew up with and so forth? Man, about, you get anxiety and things, or? about four years ago, I was nervous, but then it's just like, it's natural now. It's like when you meet them, motherfuckers normal people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Either you gonna vibe with me or you not. I ain't finna be just like I ain't the one that's gonna come up to you and try to hold a conversation. Like we see each other, we speak. If if the vibe is there, then we'll keep chopping it up. But yeah. if not, then I ain't here with Leah. You know I was here. I know you was here. But I don't know. I don't get no anxiety in that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's, I guess. I mean. I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I be on some cocky shit, like, you should know who I am, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying, like, yeah, yeah. I guess you gotta psych yourself up for that. Yeah, that's real. Uh, man, we, I'm gonna hear that song too, man, one day, I'm ready for that. Yeah, that's I, right. I, I just, uh, we just cleared the thing too, so, the master should be done on it by Wednesday, actually, from what the engineers say. We just cleared everything on it. We so just saw the promo on it. Hey, nah, it's gonna be. I already know that shit gonna be going crazy. Yeah. Especially some man back in. What's that shit called? Uh, my last, my last. One of my favorite old songs. Uh, what's that shit called? Lost on the Road. My no, name's Lost. On the no, road. It, and I uh, asked that nigga, can I remake it too? Man? <laughs> <laughs> he told me nah. <laughs> yeah, that's classic. Yeah, you know that's 
one. That's one you can't touch. Yeah. I get it though. You know. Um, what I'm what's the other one? Um. Yeah, the hood no, nigga. The broken. The broken. Yeah, he's on some, uh, man, uh, it's man, uh, it's called man, uh. Man, uh, used to be, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's true, that's my, that's my, yeah, I can't that. that. the hood, nigga, you had the, uh, yeah. the what it is, you know, like, yeah. dude had some hits, man, you know what I'm saying? Block and T still doing their thing, too, so. Yeah, man. Shout out to all them. Yeah, shout out to Jesse and them, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, cause, yeah. Um, you know Jesse? Yeah, 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 I know Jesse. I know those people over there. I did, I did an interview with um, Mr. Kyle, that was his name. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, they got, but they still was fucking legit, bro. Uh, I remember Jesse, though. Jesse cooled him off. Nah, he is cool. Jesse cooled him off. Hey, baby, we're gonna chop it up about that, too, man. <laughs> uh, what about y'all? What was the question? Uh, yeah, I don't remember. The, the question was, and give me five seconds to remember. You get nervous when yeah. you be hard. Yeah, there you go. Um, oh, no. Nah. Nah. I don't know. It's Anxiety. just... Um, Sweating on these armpits a little bit. Nah. I still do when I meet Diddy, though. Like, when I... When I you yeah. met him that day at the full summer? Yeah. I, we left Sunday, bro. You I was know, so pissed, dog. I was back there with Rock now. For Rock real? Sunday, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. I was back, I was in the VIP. No, nah, not the actual VIP, so you had to have an artist on too. Oh, so Rockstar he ended up giving me the little thing to it, so yeah. that's how I was back there with him, yeah. P, yeah. all them, yeah. Romeo yeah. them. Damn. But I ain't gonna lie, now I do get that when I meet Diddy though, cause yeah. that nigga like just somebody like you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. it's like yeah. you don't know how to come and approach him with a conversation. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Okay. Uh nobody, Piano? Nah, I ain't really uh, I ain't gonna lie, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, <laughs> Lil Wayne, cause bro, is for me, I, bro, I freaking idolize that. I'm, I'm, I, I know yeah. what you. If I meet him, bro, my hands might shake. <laughs> it's understandable, lie. cause you trying to lie. figure out how to kick that conversation off you know without coming off on some weird and shit. And I ain't trying to come out shit, cause at the same time, though, I understand you still a human being just like I am. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You bleed like I bleed. You know what I'm saying. That that make there is just. The fact of, bro, you, you Lil Wayne at the same time, though. Yeah. You can go. Rihanna <laughs> came. Would you be, would you get some anxiety? Rihanna came and chopped up a little bit of funny thorn face a little bit. Hell nah. Hell, hell nah. I'm Megan Stallion. Hell nah. Bro, you don't understand. I'm going I'm, I'm to go ahead and get to the real with, with Riri and Meg. <laughs> Look, girl. Look, girl. I see what's going on. And shit, they, I'm going to be real, just like Booster said, shit, man, look up. Real a bad motherfucker, man. <clears throat> All right. You know what I'm saying? Ace. Who? Anybody? Uh, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I would be nervous for me, like, I don't know. Her. Well, her just popped up. Nah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be nervous, bro. Someone walking. No. <laughs> nah. I did nah. her song by the way and that bitch is fire. That shit is Go get it. It ain't out yet. The <laughs> song of water. Okay, last question. No, <laughs> you, 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 you decided did. to slide, bro. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. call me by my keys and yeah. shit. Nah, yeah. <laughs> this is it. Um uh, last question. Um A song, any new content from y'all coming out? Man, we got a lot of shit coming around, man. You know what I'm saying? Any, 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 any dates? You know what I'm saying? Any dates that people can expect? Uh, any, any months? March of, uh, what is it, 14th? I mean, 17th through the 20th. We will be at South by South Wales. Facts. April 24th through the 27th. We will be in uh, Atlanta. Uh, we're doing a showcase, a showcase for uh, the QC reps. That we want, we want a spot to go do that. So we will be doing that. Uh, in the meantime, in between time, you know what I'm saying. I want to just say shout out to AMG, shout out to our motherfucking producer, Master Yo. You know what I'm saying. And uh, oh, like I said, yeah, we do have uh, everybody individually have songs coming out. We will probably be doing some type of compilation as a group soon too. So, y'all just be on the lookout. Follow us on AMG Sounds. Goddamn me. Everybody that's in the 
click goddamn me. They link is on that motherfucker so you can find us. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I say, AMG Sounds. Our platform. Our platform. Well, yeah. Uh, Hardaway. Hardaway coming. That nigga said. Hardaway coming. Not go far into it. Hardaway coming. That's uh. TLE. TLE boss. SO Wavy. And yeah, SO Wavy, you feel me? It's coming. It's very far. soon. We just performed that whole We just nice yeah, yeah, just it's, it's dropping very soon. Yeah. Yeah, Uh but to piggyback off of you know, basically yeah. all of that, uh shit, I'ma drop that uh Summer Walker video. Yes, like this, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Cause I ain't naming it that other shit, cause that shit weird. I saw him name was I Kill You, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not but yeah, big AMG sound stuff coming, man. Y'all yeah. just be on the lookout. Hilltop. And Hilltop, man, you gotta work with us, man. Let's get nah, some work done, right. man. Look, I'm mm -hmm. always open to work, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. always open to work. All you gotta do is hit me, man. I'm with it. Uh, as far as something I got coming out, y'all know how I do. I'm a pop up artist. I ain't even mm. tell you shit. Let's go. Let's go. Jump on my IG. I like it. Or uh, any of my social medias. And then when I pop out with that promo clip, that motherfucker might be dropping an hour afterwards. You never know. So. Link in the description. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is the Kings and, Queens, Kings and Queens podcast. Like, share, subscribe, man. I gotta give a huge shout out to Hill Top to Don. Thank you, Young King, for coming out. Big Be facts. Be nasty, you know what I'm saying? Hey, A so wavy. You know what I'm talking about? Young TLE vibe. Yeah, you know what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, you know what I'm saying, to all the people who <clears throat> taking their time to watch this video. Thank God to the Queen in the back for being patient with us as well. Um, you know what it is. It's Kings and Queens podcast, man. Tell your mom what's, what's the deal is. <laughs>